WBKS News. Today is Thursday, March 14th, and it's a B2 day. I'm Carol Nicholson. And I'm Carly O'Gara. Students who went to the race exhibit last week, your thank you letters are needed by the end of the day today. March is Women's History Month. Today we recognize Elizabeth Caddy Statton, who was American social activist, abolitionist, and leading figure of the early women's rights movement. Her declaration was presented at the first women's rights convention held in 1848 in Seneca Falls, New York. This convention is credited with initiating the first organized women's, fight, women's rights and women's suffrage movements in the United States. Stanton died in 1902, having authored both the Women's Bible and her autobiography. All seniors that are going on the senior trip, make sure your fourth deposit for New York City to, or is in to Miss Hansen as soon as possible. If you owe past payments, be sure to bring that in as well. On Thursday, March 14th, or Thursday, March 21st, sorry, the senior class will be holding a Pace Party fundraiser at Five Guys Burgers and Fries on Ridge Road from 5 to 10 p.m. 20% of all sales will be donated by Five Guys to help with the cost of the class of 2013 Pace Party. Tell all your family and friends to come out to the Ridgecrest Plaza from 5 to 10 and help support the seniors. Make sure you tell the cashier at the time of your order that you are there for the fundraiser. So, Carol, it's that time of the week again. We have our Junior High's news anchors. And we're going to throw it over them right now. On Wednesday, March 20th, the Junior High Student Council will be hosting a wee night. Come join the fun from 6.30 to 8 p.m. in the Junior High wing. Admission is $2, and the funds will go towards the Washington, D.C. trip for the 8th grade. You can also support the 8th grade trip by buying delicious Niagara chocolate bars and by donating cans and bottles with 5-cent returns. Just walk on down to the Junior High and stop by Miss Prinzing's or Mr. Strauss's rooms. We have a big shout out for the Builders Club who made finger puppets for the book buddies yesterday. We had a great time working with Mrs. Jones who helped us make them. Back to you guys. Well, you, you gonna buy some of those uh, Niagara chocolate bars, Carol? Probably, chocolate's delicious. Why wouldn't you wanna buy some? <laughs> exactly. Mob Gav is tonight. $5 admission, and you get to play video games on the smart boards and eat and have fun. Join us tonight from 5 to 9 for a night of video games and food. We have not sold enough Nature's Visions product to receive free shipping. We are only $100 short. If anyone has outst outstanding orders or wants a flyer, stop and see Ms. Hansen. We can place another order next month. Now we throw it to Club News. In the corner, BK is entering a float in the annual Rochester St. Patrick's Day Parade on Saturday, March 16th. The BK Folk Group will be playing and we want you to ride and march with us and show the hundreds of thousands of people how great Kearney is. See you August with any questions. Faculty and students, the National Honor Society is participating in a program to raise awareness and money for cancer treatment in the local area. We are participating in what is called Pennies for Patients. The goal is to fundraise for families in the local area who are dealing with the disease of cancer. Students are collecting spare change over a three-week period during March. The change can come from friends or relatives or underneath the couch cushions. What's important is that the change is collected. And now we throw up, okay. So Carly, are you gonna walk in the St. Patrick's Day Parade? No. Oh. I said, I said, you know, <laughs> I was thinking about it. Oh, well, I mean, I wish I could walk in it, but I can't. Work? <laughs> yes. It's kind of sad. And now we throw it to BK Sports.
Attention members of the girls and boys varsity basketball teams, please come to the auditorium today at 1.55 p.m. There is a bake sale for the girls softball team today during lunch. Make sure to come support our softball team for their trip to Pittsburgh. Good luck to the boys and girls varsity basketball teams that will be continuing their seasons this weekend. Please make sure to support both the boys and the girls as they continue their run for the state championship. The girls play Saturday at 2.15 p.m. at Hudson Valley Community College versus Osable Valley High School. The boys play Saturday at 2.15 p.m. at Glens Falls Civic Center versus Troy High School. Be sure to wish them luck. Today's practices are girls varsity basketball at 3.15, boys varsity lacrosse at 3.30, boys and girls varsity tennis at 3.30, Boys Varsity Baseball at 4.30, Boys JV Varsity Softball at 5.45, and Girls JV Varsity Softball at 7.15. And that'll do it for sports. So, big weekend in sports. Right, right. Definitely. Yeah. Um, I thought the Harlem Shake video was supposed to be on last night, but I guess it's, it's not. Carol. Oh, I totally thought it was last night. <laughs> Well, that's too bad. Yeah. Well, I'm really looking forward to seeing it and seeing how the boys and girls do. Big yeah. weekend in sports. It'll be so much fun. It's exciting for the cheerleaders to be able to go. Yeah, we're going. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and now Good we news. throw it back to our folk group to uh, end the show for us.